tell me that this is a joke and that you did not have my sister committed. Technically, she had herself committed, which is what I was trying to tell you in the phone. Wow, this really explains the urgency and you needing me to hire you. In fact, you were trying to talk me into hiring you before I found out, huh? Okay, I admit the timing was bad, but no, really, one thing has nothing to do with the other. How do you figure that? Jessica drew up a document asking to be committed to St. Anne's if Tess ever came back. Yes, I know that. It killed her to do so, but she was doing it to protect Bree. All I did was call the doctor. Tess is back. You remember how Jessica voted with me at the board meeting? Okay, she did it because she was pretending to be Tess. She was hoping to uh, get me to slip up and force me into confessing that somehow I wasn't a Buchanan. So I called the doctor after the board meeting because I knew she was scamming me. Okay. Should I do? Well, that's what I thought, but what do I know about split personalities? You know, maybe she was having a relapse, in which case it made perfect sense to call the doctor. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who's scamming who now? Because you don't give a rat's butt about my sister's mental health if you did. You would have called me or Nash. Oh, neither one of you would have listened to me. What about when I walked in on you two kissing? Okay, she was pretending to be Tess there, too, and I was testing her. Really? You're just testing her. Are you sure you weren't playing along to make sure you secured that vote at the board meeting? You wanted her vote. Sure I did. So what? I wanted your vote, too. I still think it makes sense to sell the vineyard to B.E. And if Jessica was willing to back me, then... But you, you tricked her. She sent me to prison. Are you really still hung up on that? Oh, my God. It, you lost two years of... Who are you calling? My mother. At least she'll know what happened to Jessica. She's having a cup of tea at St. Anne's while they're doing her paperwork to release her. You know what? It's not that simple. Okay, so she's there overnight. I was in prison. For two years! Yes, yes, yes! You want to tell me again? Uh, Mom, hi, it's Natalie. Please call me back. You're still here? She was trying to set me up again. Isn't there any part of you that thinks that's unfair? Really unfair. I've got work to do. Fine. What time tomorrow? For what? For work. What time should I be here? You're not working here. You just hired me. And now I'm firing you, so get out of here. You admitted that I do great work for you, and you missed me. I said no such thing. Well, you implied it by hiring me. Well, now I guess I've changed my mind. I wouldn't hire you if you were last ex-con on this planet, especially after what you did to my sister. What about what she did to me? Okay, I can't hear you! Natalie, come here. <laughs> now who's being the child? Going to my father's office. What, to tattle on me? No, to wait for my mother to call me back. I'll be here. I feel I want security to throw you out. No! Damn it! What? Natalie has stepped out. Hey, son. What the hell are you doing here? 